I've been fascinated by reptiles since I was a young boy living in South Africa. So when I was 12 years old and my parents told me we were moving to New Zealand, the first thing I did was try to find out all the information I could about New Zealand reptiles. I remember being incredibly disappointed when I could hardly find any information besides about Tuatara and the fact that there were no snakes. But this all changed growing up in Taranaki. I began to realise what not a lot of Kiwis know. New Zealand has an incredible variety of stunningly beautiful and unique skinks and geckos. Every year, new species are being discovered. And in 2016, an incredible discovery was made right here in this area. The Murawai Gecko. My name is Dylan Van Winkle, and I'm a herpetologist, a reptile expert and researcher. Every year we conduct research on this species which besides Owaya Island, also lives on a tiny strip of the west coast from Murawai to the Kuiper Inlet. And it lives right here in this beautiful sand dune area. But to do research, we first have to find it. The Murawai gecko is incredibly hard to find, as it hides away deep in the dunelin shrubs. And it doesn't help that there are only a few hundred left. This species is the most endangered gecko species in New Zealand. And that is a Murawai gecko. And as I find this beautiful pregnant female, I once more realize how fragile their habitat is. Vehicle tracks run straight alongside her habitat. New Zealand is home to 43 species of geckos, but many of these species are facing threats to their existence. Habitat loss, Invasive mammals that predate them and human disturbance of their habitats are some of the main threats. The New Zealand reptiles are cool because they're just completely different. They live in ridiculous places where reptiles shouldn't really be living, up in the tops of mountains. They're really different in terms of their biology. It takes them two to eight years before they're even able to breed. They need to live for a long period of time. So New Zealand's geckos are the longest living geckos anywhere else in the world. Some of the ones that lives up in the mountains at four degrees Celsius, they can be out active and hunting. And there's just no other gecko in, in the world that can do, can survive and be active at those sorts of temperatures. Anything that you think a gecko couldn't do, the New Zealand geckos can do it. If we just walk away and ignore them and don't pursue active conservation, we're going to lose species every year. But I think New Zealand and New Zealanders are, are, are unique. We come from a background of, of conservation. We're proud of our flora and flora. So I think we have the best chance here for being able to preserve um, our reptiles. As a 12 year old boy, I was fascinated by reptiles. I want 12 year old boys and girls in New Zealand to become just as fascinated with reptiles as I was at this age. And what better place for this than Aotearoa, New Zealand. So this here 
is a just under one year old Muruai Gekka. The next generation. Woo!